I know. <laughs> All right, who is ready for some live girl chat? <laughs> Make sure that you head on over to the Real Daytime Instagram uh, page and use the hashtag GirlChatLive to join in on the conversation. We love hearing what you have to say. I'm going to be watching. Maybe I'll even say what you wrote. So first up, Kim Kardashian didn't just break the internet this week with her racy Instagram pictures. She took a hammer and smashed it to pieces. Okay, the pictures had everyone talking, with many wondering what Kim's husband, Kanye, thought of his wife posting the sexy photos. Well, someone who wanted... Uh, to deliver a message to Mr. West is Tammy Roman, who's rumored to be <laughs> rejoining basketball wives soon. Tammy posted a video as part of her Bonnet Chronicles Instagram series. Here's a little bit of what she had to say. Check it out. You know, it hurts my heart to say this, because I love this man. I think he's so talented. I think he's a genius. But uh, your black card gets revoked today, Kanye, because it ain't a black man alive that will let his wife pose for the gram like that unless he pimping. Okay, get into it. Like, I feel weird. It. Ladies, do you agree with Tammy? Should a man be concerned if his woman is posting revealing pictures online? Mm. Tam, your mouth is open. No, because I think Kanye knows who he married. I think he loves yeah. it, honestly. Yeah. I, I really, I really do. Isn't he out of town? Yeah, I, I think, think he's out of town, and maybe this is her way of showing him, like, mm-hmm, this is what you got when you get home. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? Well, I mean, I Kanye has always, even in the, in the um, rap song, he says, my wife made a home movie, re referring to his, uh, to her sexual tape. Yeah. So I think um, he doesn't mind. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, this is a problem I have with Kim Kardashian. Okay, she came on the show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got 50% of the people that's like, they didn't like it that she mm -hmm. came on the show. We got 50% that's like, okay, she came on the show. And we got a lot of grief for having her on the show. Now, when she came on the show, the whole purpose of her coming was to promote her product. But I really would like for her to come back one day and actually just give me an explanation for me, for some of the viewers, and ask her, why does she do this? Because half of the people are saying, you're a mother now, you're married, do you, are you, why are you doing this? And she's never really answered it. I think she does it because we talk about it. Everybody is talking about her doing it. And that's why I think she, she does it. But I wouldn't mind for her to be able to come on our show again like she did. And we were, and I just wanna say, cause I'm, I'm saying this because Tamara and I got a lot of grief. I know we all did, but Tamara Why? and I, they talked about us really, really bad. And you out there know who did it. And you said that we, you know, we were trash talking. We've always made fun of Kim Kardashian. I think she likes that. But when someone comes on our show, we're gonna be respectful of them. We're not gonna be sitting up here going, now why'd you do that sex tape? That's well, not what she wants. Okay, well, I just wanna say, I never actually made fun yeah. of Kim Kardashian, um, when I stated something, I, you know, I think it was something about parenting. I think it was like yeah. the season before. But they looked at it I, as trash talk. I know, but I just gave my opinion if that were me mm -hmm. and, and, and my child. I never trash talked, her, you know, mm -hmm. her. And she is a, 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 human, a human being. And actually, um, when I met her, she was really, really, really nice and, she, she, and, and warm, and she actually has a beautiful soul, mm -hmm. you know? Um, sometimes, I'm just saying, sometimes we see this, this image, and of course, people are free to have their opinions, but at the same time, I'm just happy, because listen, people say things about me, and I'm sure that when they meet me, mm -hmm. they're like, wait a minute, oh, she's, she's not, she's not exactly. like that. And, Personally, I had that experience with um, Kim Kardashian. She is actually a very loving, warm human being, mm -hmm. and I'm always here for a mom who loves their children. Yeah, yeah. The way yeah. she knows how. Yeah I, think, what, yeah, I think there's just a bigger question with all of this, which is, if y'all don't like it, don't pay attention to it. Why do you care so much? Yeah. Like, y'all need a hobby or something because yeah. It's getting to the point where everything everyone does is an issue. Everyone has an opinion on what it is. You like it, you don't like it. Yeah. If she decided tomorrow to become a saint and a nun and dress up to here, you'd have a problem with that too. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, oh, she's not who she used to be. 
Get over it. But get her be who she can be. And if you don't like it, let's follow. Can I say something in regards to what you were talking about, Lonnie? I think this is important to say. In family and in your friendships, you have things that your friends do that you might disagree with. It's okay or to disagree understand. or don't understand mm -hmm. why certain That's people what I'm do saying. certain things. It doesn't yeah. mean you dislike them as exactly. a human. Yeah. I look at this totally differently, though, um, and I love the Bonnet Chronicles. Um, and Tammy, you are very smart to talk about something that the whole world is talking about. Right. But I want to say that the reason why what, what Tammy said flew over my head is because when it comes to living your best life, there are definitely three things that don't come first for me. Not your husband, not your kids, and definitely not Beyonce. So when she said that, I was like, okay, hold on. But let's take it a step further, right? When I was styling and as I work in fashion, I see far too many women who self-shame. I know nine out of 10 women who will hate their face, hate their nose, hate their thighs, think they're too fat, hate the way they walk. Hate can list out a grocery list of the things that they hate rather than the woman that actually celebrates herself. So what I mean by that is, when you don't like yourself, it mm -hmm. will come out in other places. You get into unhealthy relationships, body dysmorphia, body disorders, eating disorders, sometimes even suicide. And so I'm gonna give you an example of somebody who I'm watching right now in front of me love themselves more than anybody I've seen in a while, which is Tamara. Oh because Tamara right now oh. is eating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so God! <laughs> Tamara right now is loving herself. She's on a journey. She has been, I love you girl, but this is the real. She has been that girl that can tick off the list of things she doesn't love about herself. Then when you love somebody, it hurts you to hear them say that about themselves. Mm -hmm. But right now, she is taking compliments completely differently when I say, oh my God, your butt is looking bomb. Your waist is getting snatched. Like all these things because she's eating, she's loving herself, she's mm -hmm. taking differently. And for her, celebrating herself comes through her fashion, her pose and her energy. If loving yourself comes through this form or it comes through that form, not only do you, do for you. Do it. I, and you I gotta make that message that. clear. I get that, and I get what you're saying. What I think um, uh, some of Americans feel, and I think what Tammy is trying to do is saying, the question keeps go coming up, why does she do this? I mean, she's because older she's now, she's a mother, but everybody don't necessarily need to see. You what? Know, wait, wait, can't. if you everybody have, don't need to see that. No, but, but then don't, I'm no. At it. I'm gonna tell you They're right now. I mean, you can't help it, they put it everywhere. And I it's did this everywhere. yesterday, I'm gonna it's tell you right everywhere. now. everywhere. Okay, no, no, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I dare you, go to, the, go to her page, I, I dare you, because I did this yesterday. <laughs> go to her page, go to the comments, look up the people that are dissing it and, and poo-pooing on it, mm -hmm. and literally go to them and see if they're following her. 99% of the ones I checked are following, including the celebrities. So but I'm that doesn't saying, make it right, though, you guys. No, no, no. The point is, and wait, I will wait, say this, a right she can do wrong, whatever wait. she wants to do. What I don't like is when people say, well, my daughter's looking at it, because there was an example where a woman said, my daughter's looking at it. You're not living your life with your other kids, man. No, Come but on. what I'm saying, let me finish. She said her daughter decided to take pictures like Kim Kardashian. Got it. My, my, point, my point to that is, talk to your kids. That's not on Kim. Talk to yes, your kids exactly. about yes. Preach, okay. Bonnie, preach, preach. Talk to your kids about like that. Kim's fault that your daughter yes. has... Oh, guys. I just wish Kim would come on the show and would... I, I just wish she would say, look, come back, guys, Kim, I just want to love I, and I, this is what I want to do and this is... Can yes. I say then something I that maybe I've observed? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, again, if this was me and how I choose to live my life, I would never... I would never do anything like that. Okay. If I did that, I would think I would break the world. People would be <laughs> like, what the hell is she doing? That's not who I am. Yeah. However, when you look at the Jenners and you look at the Kardashians as a whole, and even the mama, mm -hmm. uh, Chris yes. Jenner, um, she's very much in love with her body. She's very much in love with her looks. That's how they make and their that money. And is, that is, okay. That's but how they I, make I their money. Uh, yes, Off okay. of sex. They make the money off of sex appeal and sex. One, the sex tape started everything. Let's just be real about that. I, and I understand that. Well, I understand that 100%. Into a lot more than just the that sex tape. I think maybe... 
Chris Jenner reminds me of someone who just walks around naked in her house and loves all of herself. Maybe she passed that, and, and Adrian and Jeannie. Maybe she passed that down on to her family, kind of like Europeans. You know, when you go to mm. Europe and they're just like naked free for all, normal. and you're like, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" Yeah, naked is and normal. And they're like, for "What? Them. What? This is this is who I am. Yeah. Don't you love it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that's how." Uh, you know, they yeah. were raised. But you see Again, different strokes for different folks. Absolutely, yes. but yes. at the same time, if uh, if my daughter was like, I want to do that, I would be like, mm -mm, not in my house. We're not going to be doing that. Right. But that is my responsibility yeah. as a mom to tell my child yes. why not. You see what I'm saying? So we're just different. We're different people. Yeah. 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 And at the end of the day, I'm just saying, love you. And however you ex exude that, love yourself. Don't just do you, do for you. Whatever that takes. But spend time on loving yourself because there's too many that hate on themselves today. Well, there'll be another picture pretty soon coming up, maybe in a couple of months or something, and we'll talk about it again. Keep doing your thing, Kim. Okay? I, I think He's the just... bigger question also is, <laughs> obviously, in this video, she stop. said that Kanye was going to get his black card revoked for allowing oh, his wife of, to do this. Uh, no, that's... for allowing her to be naked because she said black men wouldn't no, allow I think their wives. No, he was talking about no, maybe Tammy the was type saying of that break. black men wouldn't allow their wives to be naked on the internet. Yeah, it was He it wasn't was talking that. about the braids, maybe? No, 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 this is Tammy Rowland's oh. video. Oh, And okay. on there, my thing is, you don't know what goes on in people's marriages. Don't be judging people's marriage. You don't know what, what their agreement is. Obviously, she wouldn't be posting these pictures if her husband was not okay with them. Or and maybe she, maybe he's not. We don't know. Yeah, that we, don't know. That. we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And that's the point. If you don't know about somebody's don't, personal yeah. marriage, don't judge their marriage. Or you don't take know. their card. Or no. take their <laughs> black card. Like, what yes. is No, well, let me speak it for the black people. Okay. I think what she was saying is that mo typically most black men don't like for their woman to be all over because it comes through church and things like that. Yeah. You raised in the church is like, no, once you marry, you keep it to yourself. But I, have, so, I know I Vietnamese have no rappers men, that are about men would be the first to be raving about it. Then Let I'm me married. tell you. Really? Well, I have a yes. white husband and he wouldn't he wouldn't be fine with me doing well, that. Well he would as get well. his white card revoked. That's what she was saying. <laughs> the point is <laughs> I don't know people. I don't know. I'm just I trying to know have a either, but <laughs> I can choose to love <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, someone who's been linked to the Kardashian family in the past is Los Angeles Clippers player Blake Griffin. Griffin, who is rumored to be dating Kendall Jenner, might have to play defense when it comes to his dating story. After ESPN put out an Instagram post yesterday announcing that Griffin was being traded to Detroit, one user decided to comment, quote, I think Lolo Jones has a thing for Blake Griffin. Oy. Well, the Olympian was quick to respond saying, quote, nah. I went on a date with him, worst date of my life, and he's a terrible kisser. I know. Wow, where did that come from? <laughs> well, to make matters worse for Griffin, TMZ caught up with the funny man himself, Marlon Wayans, uh -oh. who had some advice for the NBA star. Check it out. Uh-oh. Damn, I'm so happy I didn't kiss Lolo. Lolo, you be telling Bendis like, Dad, yeah, huh? girl, damn, you be rating the kiss? <laughs> really? Blake, bro. You gotta get your kiss game on. She would have traded you to Detroit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story, don't kiss Lolo <laughs> Jones. Yeah. Oh my god. So ladies, what do you think of Lolo literally kissing and telling? <laughs> You... She's been known to be like a sore loser. Yeah. I, know, I don't know if you guys know a lot <laughs> yeah, about her. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah, keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. She's been known that if things don't go her way, whether it's in her, what, she did like different sports. She started out doing one thing and ended up doing bobsledding. Yeah. Or she was in track. It I didn't think? go out, it didn't go so well for her, okay. but she yep. pretty yeah. much would like throw tantrums, that sort of thing. And I just think this is a tell of her character. Like, you kiss somebody, I don't care if you didn't like it, why do you have to put that on Instagram? Yeah. Like, that's a conversation for you and your girlfriends. But to diss somebody, somebody on Instagram like that is just so whack. Well, the problem is, is that people get caught up with somebody comments, because somebody commented to her, and then she responded. That's what I said. Be careful but when people commenting you, and then yeah. you go, you like, well, he wasn't yeah. good yeah, but anyway. That, she could have left that it at reaction, Yeah, but that end. reaction makes sense. Why even respond? For a 16-year-old, right? <laughs> Maybe even yeah. a 12-year-old. You could see a kid that. being like, well, I don't like you anyway. The fact that this 35-year-old, beautiful, confident... She's so and pretty. Has, well, she's she beautiful. She was mad about and, that date, And she, she, she's... <laughs> keep it real. For her to actually comment like that, I was like, something happened to you. Something... something there, it just seemed like a low blow. Because, right. Yeah, something happened on that date. It was a bad date. Something happened between that... Google that her and you'll see bed. what we're talking about. But, she's yes. known for these Ooh, kind coach, of things. Ooh, coach, put me in. Put me in, y'all. Okay, go, 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 go. go. I 
have to give it up to... I'm more impressed with Blake because all these people are talking about him and he hasn't said a word yeah. back. So I have to give that yeah. up to him. Yeah. It yeah. says so much more yeah. about him than it does about her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just think, 100%. like, we've all had exes up here. Uh, we're never going to call them out by name and be like, oh, you're whack, you are a whack kisser. Like, that's just so... Like, that actually makes you look whack yeah. right. when yeah. you do that. It doesn't say as much about the other person. It says a lot more about you and your character that you would do that. Yeah. And it kind of rained down on him. He already got traded from the Clippers to, you know, Detroit. What's up, Detroit? We made it, though. Okay? So we well, asked you guys what you think about kissing and telling after a date. At Latoria's Secret said, that's a cute name, you have to tell your girls how the date went. You may not tell others, but you have to tell your girls so they know what's up. I agree with that. Tell your girls, but not on Instagram. Not, not the and world. keep it in a squad. Like, a squad. Yeah. I agree with you guys. Right? <laughs> I, I think uh, it might be a little bit of a petty move to actually respond to something that happened three to four years ago negatively. Like, why does the world need to know that Blake Griffin is a terrible but kisser? But what's a bad How kiss? How do we even know he's a bad kisser? What's a bad kiss? Like, if they when lick all sloppy, on your face? Let me see. When they're sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, that's literally like Tam. We can yes. get any of your ex-boyfriends on Money. the show, and if he's Money. bitter, he are you want to say you're they're not even kisser. reacting? Exactly. <laughs> this happens so hard on a daily. My friends are just continuing to talk like not even. <laughs> That's a bad kiss right there. Well, you know, you just like. <laughs> yeah, if your you don't kiss is tight like that, <laughs> this is not a good kiss. This is no. a good. This is a good kiss. Tight this is a good kiss. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that. Okay. That, that. But seriously. <laughs> What did you anybody? Do? I she was like, oh. okay, but up. anybody that wants to be bitter and be mad at you is gonna say you're whack. I'm sorry. Any guy could date any of you ladies out here, and if it doesn't work out, be like, yeah, she was whack. She. Yeah. You know, I was gonna say something crazy. But like I said, but yeah. he didn't say anything, so uh, big ups to Blake for not yeah. saying nothing back. Like, let it go, dude. He's probably happy. Yeah, happy in a relationship right now, so who cares?